These clothes feel so nice. Yes. Hey, come here, sleepyhead. Come on, it's just the sun. Look, it's worth it. Whoa! It's... Well, it's... Like a dream? Yes, exactly like my dream. Quickly, let's eat something and get going. Come on. about this place, right? Yes. Let's go. What perfect weather for exploration. Yes! Island explorers! Let's find the exit first. Whoa, look at that! It's so big! Now I'm counting on you, all right? If you see anything... Yes! I'll keep my eyes piled! Peeled. <laughs> we say keep my eyes peeled. Oh, that's horrible. It's... <laughs> yes, it's horrible. This place truly is something. It's so big. I would get lost. I could get used to it. Would you be a countess? Oh, no. Too many responsibilities. Good day to you. Good day. Thank you. It's gonna be a hot day. Oh, you're right about that. I can't imagine having to wear that. Is that, that the way out? Be I suppose. Let's ask this guard. So, yes, I heard about that. Hello, can we go outside? Sure. Enjoy the brighter days. Slept well? Sophia, hi. Nice to see you. How did you know where you'd be? That's my life, sweetheart. Wake up early, observe, listen, and make the best of it. That's how I discovered Arno was in jail. Yes, that bastard. He betrayed us. And worse, he used Hugo. What kind of use could he make of such a tiny creature? Or are you more useful than you look like, little one? I'm not joking, Sophia. Arno may be your friend, but he almost got us killed. So you spent the night celebrating his capture with the Count of Provence and his wife? No, I don't care about them. I kneeled to no lord, Sophia. No count, no king, no one. I only care about him. All right. I hit a nerve there. I was teasing you. I just like to know who my friends really are. And I like what I hear. Come. Let's take a walk. Yes! Took some time to wander around this morning. Do you know where you're going yet? Not yet. No. Easy, Take boy, your time. Easy. Weather's just fine. People are partying. Even the guards are quite nice. This is why we're not in jail already. Shouldn't we go out on delivery now? We still have time. The feast is this evening. I'm pretty sure they haven't started cooking. from your dream. Almost. It's funny. It looks like it's looking at something. Oh, a treasure hunt. Already? Well, let's see what he sees. So a dream and a bird. Hmm. Hugo's been dreaming about this place a lot since before we came here. And each time there, it was looking at another bird. You're right. So what's this one looking at? Only one way to find out. Everything's so different from Guyen. Even the smells. Yes, it smells hot. It's never hot. Not in the same way. I trust you. Look 
Look at this beauty. It must be so old. How old? An olive tree. Thousands of years, I'd say. Really? It's all twisted. Is it sick? On the contrary. It's strong. It adapted. She's right. It's been shaped by time. It's seen so many things. It has scars, too. I love it. Then tell it. It will listen. I love you. <laughs> and I'm sure it loves you, too. Let's go? Yes. But wouldn't the church consider it utter heresy? This island is pretty remote. I guess that helps. And there's no eye gold can't close. Let's try it. Tell me, why this fascination with windmills? That windows? palace it is like giant. Incredible. With funny so turning shields. How is it? Inside, boy. I just see bloody wheat grinders. I know, Sophia. I know. Oh. I've seen things like this. It's typical in Provence and its surroundings. What is it? Some symbolic passageway? The question. Hmm. Intriguing. A magic hole. I say this letter is an invitation. That's old. Feels like the place was used not so long ago. It looks like a goblin's home. You're the only goblin here. Then you're a witch. <gasps> How did you know? A windmill. Good eyes. I can't say it's the greatest drawing I've ever seen. I like it. That's a bit strange, but... Well, let's go back, I guess. Get 
away discreetly. Mind the drop. Uh -huh. Maybe it will start the windmill. Seem close though. Strange. was whoever hit this probably has a lot to hide where are we going don't worry this is real exploration hugo yes i'm sure there's treasure down there you know what kid i think you're right my hands are getting all tingly it's a sign holy damn is is it real it's real as real as a smuggler's lair a bloody good one how who built this it's amazing. You think they're still here? It feels abandoned. What is that? That's the thing. The more amazing. Oh, oh, it's the treasure. treasure. Wear it. It fits. <gasps> it's too good to leave it here. Keep it. Yes. It's your treasure now. I don't know why, but I feel stronger. It's magic, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's go back before some smuggler ghost comes shouting at us. This place is amazing! It's my favorite! I must say, I can see myself living here. And what about a nice house with a garden? I'm happier when people can't see me. Yes, I'd like to live in a cave too. Lord, I'm walking around with bats. I'm more of a lizard, I think. Is it? All right. Why not?
go back to searching the birds, Amicia. Too tired, Hugo. No, I'm good. We've walked a lot. This island is quite big. It's big, but it's beautiful. Look, another bird. It's stuck around those columns. That's exciting. Let's go and see. Yeah. Tell me this is it. What do you see? I see columns. It's beautiful. Nice find. Some sort of uh, antique theatre? Yes, it looks important. <laughs> this is it, Hugo. Your bird showed the way. of the island. It's antique. I'd say hundreds of years old. Probably Byzantium? There is a lot of those around here. Look, Amicia! That's the drawing! What drawing? The drawing of the order. Yes, I see it. What order? A very ancient order of alchemists. You overheard us on the boat, Sophia. Hugo is sick. It's not contagious. Still, the order wanted to lock him away to do whatever they pleased. But I... But you kneel to no one. I get it. So, what did you come here looking for? Whatever can help him. It's simple. If this symbol indicates important areas... That one... Well, that one is pretty hard to miss. The teeth! They're called Las Madres, the mothers. Oh. I know, boring. It makes sense. Let's go visit those mothers then. Those teeth. Are you coming with us? If you want me to. I told you, I owe you. Come on then. Yes, we are gonna climb. The view from up there must be quite a sight. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Sanctuary. That's what I've heard it called. But now I'm even more curious about it. Sold. This is our first stop. It seems so nice. So we've got a magic bird, an ancient order of alchemists, a little one has visions. <laughs> well, just what else can I expect? Hugo's sickness is special. <laughs> Our mother's an alchemist, but she couldn't do anything about it. It's almost like a curse. Who could curse such a cute baby? I'm not a baby! It's the bloodline. <sighs> this thing goes back to the Amicia, dawn of times. I don't think we should it's be It's unfair. Here. There could be something important here, Hugo. Besides, nothing's nearly as fun as being where you're not supposed to be. Really? She's just joking. Right, Sophia? Uh, sure. 
We need to jump down. Yes. doesn't interest him. Towers are the best, because you can uh, climb them. What do you think is up there? Maybe the bird's nest. Oh, where it lays its eggs. Huh? You think it's mummy? Who knows? <sighs> Damn ladders. What do you have for us? your birds when it perches high up. Not just any bird. A bird of prey. King of birds. What do you see? I see where I hunt. And what do you hunt? Sausages. <laughs> you know what else birds of prey do? They screech. You ready? Yes. Sophia is going to screech with us, right? I was born to screech. On three. One, two, <laughs> All right, time to head back down. Now everybody knows we're here. Nice screeching, by the way, you two. Yours was pretty good, too. I know, it's my commanding voice. <laughs> you need one to be heard over the sound of the sea. <laughs> Your crew must love it. Oh, they've never complained.
That's it. The path to the sanctuary. So we're done here for now? Yes. Let's go. It's gonna be quite a walk. First to the top! Hey, easy! I don't want to carry you! Chicken! <laughs> We've been walking a while. It's not as high as it looked. Don't be disappointed. We're not there yet. <laughs> Looks like someone's more tired than you. <laughs> I don't like mountains. Everything I need is at sea level. I like mountains. They're big and tall, so when you're on top of it, you're big and tall too. You know, it's his first time climbing one. Well, in that case, let's be big and tall together. Damn, it's getting hot. Oh. Look! We're almost at the sanctuary! Do you know what almost means? Come on, it will be worth the sweat. Look at the size of it. So what do you expect to find up there? I want to see the real bird. Or the tree. Or the pond. I'd prefer an elixir. Something to really help you, Hugo. Maybe the bird will have it. Oh, spring water! How can he run in this heat? Child skill. He can also fall asleep in a snap. Mm, it looks so fresh. It is. Just what I need anyway. Hey, Hugo, you have some dirt on your face. I'll get it for you. Ah! <laughs> Water attack! Hey! <laughs> Counter attack. <laughs> Look at the ruins, all right, Hugo! All right, all right. I yield. You helped me today. I win! <laughs> <laughs> A sailor defeated by water. He shot me in the eyes, all right? I did it on purpose. <laughs> That's my brother. Talk about family. Well done, Hugo. I'll have my revenge. is huge. Yes. Carving that must have hurt. Oh, goats. There are a lot of Mesia. Don't be scared. They much prefer their olive leaves to little children. Yes, but they scream. I'm here. Well, well, well. Our fierce warrior is afraid of goats. There are too many. You're heading to the child sanctuary? We are. I'm afraid you're too late. They closed the gate, as you can see, for the ceremony. A ceremony? Oh, we came all this way for the little one. Oh, well, that goat path to the side will take you closer. But you'll have to look from afar. The Count and Countess are up there, and the guards are on edge since yesterday's mess. They won't take kindly to uninvited guests. We'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh, by the way, if you stumble on Tramontan, please send her back here. This is one of my goats. We'll try. Good luck, then. I hope she won't attack us. Oh, come on. It's a goat, not a wolf. But they scream. Oh, they do. down the sanctuary. Just our luck. On the bright side, you don't lock a place down if it doesn't hold something important. Yes. I'm even more curious now. Listen, is that the goat you talked about? She's here! <laughs> we should send you back to your owner. Goats. I stared in their eyes for hours when I was a child. You can't know what's going on there. 
You may just not be ready for their knowledge. Wow, this is turning into an actual rescue mission. I really hope she's nice. I'm sure she'll be thankful, in her own way. If she's not, we'll lock her up again, won't we? Don't worry. You have two strong women to protect you. Done a difficult part. Don't startle her, and it'll be just fine. What if she screams? Screaming's not biting. Just say to yourself, it can happen, and that's all. I'll try. See, it's easy. They don't all scream. Yes. She's nice. All right. Oh. She's saved. You've overcome your fear, and I want to see that sanctuary. Let go. Yes. Go. Your dad's waiting for you. She's not moving. She will. She's her own master. There wasn't any goat in your dream. No. But maybe there will be now. Who wouldn't want a dream of goats? Child knows. Yes, that's what's important. Try that one. It worked. Great. Move as soon as he's gone. It never lasts long. Got it. Damn what, right? These Must damn uniforms. You know the count. He likes to keep it formal. Yeah. Yeah, well. Next time, we'll ask to stand guard near yes, the room. Let's be quick. There's more shade, and I'd like to see the procession for once.
through here, I guess. Oh, it's very high. Oh, wow. Stick to the wall. Keep going. It makes me dizzy. Solid ground. Oh, all those flowers. That must be for their ceremony. Soldiers, to cover quick. Open your eyes. Heavy armor. Wow. Oh no, really kept them on their toes. Looks like we're crossing a line here. Getting spotted's not an option anyway. We'd either get killed or kicked off the island. No soldier inside the sanctuary, all right? Got it! We'll be sacrilege anyway. The child needs peace, not weapons. Sophia, your prison would help. Time to burn some grass. Um, smoke? What's going on? It works. How do you feel, Hugo? I feel funny, but good. I'm sure there's something inside the mountain. I feel it too. Up? Oh, well, I'm trusting you both. Uh. 
everyone. It is almost time. Gather round, please. It's the Count and the Countess. It seems we're right on time. Hugo, look at this. Is it from the bird? It's up to you. I say it is. Then it would be honoured that you wear it. Keep it for when we see it. Yes, I'll give it back then. Mind the drop. Very well. We're waiting for a few latecomers. Feel free to come closer in the meantime. Latecomers? I'd say that's us. What are we going to do? We'll think about it. Friends and children, today marks the longest day of the year. The light of the summer solstice shines upon us once again. And yet, in these cold hallways, hidden from the sun, the child of Ember still slumbers. It is time to bring the flame of the Phoenix. The Phoenix? To his dormant That's embers. Your bird. Thus will we prove that we deserve to care for him. Like mother. Like father. Let us pray together before we enter. What do you think? Bold, but believable. Are we dressing up? Open your mind and heart. It is now time to tell his tale. So that it is never forgotten. What do we do? Let's follow them on our turn. And do what they say. They must recognize us. Yes. Come on. Centuries ago, a child was born on this land. His heart was blessed by the sun, from which he inherited the flame that rules everything. And so was born the child of fire. What? His flame shone over the world. He blessed it with his perfume, his laughter, his joy. Of all places, Lacuna was his home. It became a land of life and peace. A place to heal, to thrive. Lacuna became a cradle of light. But light tempts evil. And evil knows no mercy. Come. A child on a throne, in an order temple. It's him, the child of Embers. Take your place at our sides. Look, the drawing. It's the carrier of the macula. That fresco was in Mother's laboratory at home. Please kneel. Evil found the child inside these very halls. It fed on his fire, weakened it, marked his flesh with coal black scars. His mother's arms couldn't warm him anymore. And so his light faded, almost entirely. And the child of fire turned into the child of embers Lord. a dark era began men forgot about him but we did not this flame is the last gleam of his light our hope and now two of you a woman and a child will carry it through his night you your heads are bent your humility honors you. You will walk his flame through his darkest hours. Take it. You will walk in his steps. Know the cold that bites the flesh.
the drowning in the absence of light. The uncertainty. You will see the child die through the eyes of his mother. You will be the victim and the witness. Keep that torch alive at all costs. The carriers have been chosen. Take your places. What do we do? We have to play along. Let's cross. Go forth and bring him the light. Much depends on it. torch is gone. You are not alone anymore. The child must meet his mother again. His embers glow in the dark. I am the mother, and I welcome him. Pass it to me. You did well. The child must rise again. Hear me, child. I am not barren anymore, for your flame lives in me. I am the mother. Become the phoenix, the child of fire reborn. Join us. Blow on these flames. <gasps> you about the order this place belonged to them and this child on the frescoes it's the carrier of the prima macula the prima macula this just gets better and better alchemists call it the first corruption it awoke in hugo's blood when he was a baby it keeps growing inside him and it's killing him 
that's what this whole place is about. The advent of a carrier of the macula. The order gathering around him, studying him, trying to find a solution. And the rats. Let me guess. Death, war, disease, and famine. Not only. The rats are... Anyway, they got it all wrong. There's no child of embers that will come and save the world. It's a fantasy they crafted to fit their hopes. All of it sounds like a crazy fantasy to me. Part of it is true. The part that can save him. The only part that matters. Magic? The water? Oh, from the healing pond in your dream. It's like a symbol. Like mother's alchemic joints. Stagnating water is rarely magic. Hey, come see. That's his throne. And this, I think, is his name. Basil? He was a carrier, just like you. You're not the only one. That's why you dreamt of all this. Something called you here, and for a good reason. I mean, look at this place. If there's a cure, it has to be here. And who is Aelia? It looks like there is more to this place behind here. Let's keep looking. Come. I'm sure there are extraordinary things waiting. <laughs> What's all this? Are we the first to come in here? Oh, a tent! You're right. It looks untouched. Too sacred for them, maybe? room it is. It is. It's Basilius's room. Just imagine. He was living here, playing here, sitting where you sit. Isn't that astonishing? Yes. And he loved tents, just like you. You love tents? Me too. He had a phoenix. Yes. Maybe he dreamt the same dream as you. Let's see what else he left us. sure he was your age. Yes. So that was his bed. It's beautiful. This Basilius was treated like a king. Maybe he was a king. King Basilius. Look at that. Hmm. They're people. Important ones, maybe? Prophets? Are there prophets in the order? They're villains. I think he shot at them with this ball here. Hmm, <laughs> makes sense. Boys. I like this game too. Come, we've barely started. Wow. That's a warrior's room. Not just any warrior. Look at the shape of the armor. What of it? It's a lady's armor. Oh, Aelia, this is her room, of course. She was his protector. Protector? The carrier's personal guard, like me, Fujiko. She looked strong. Sword and spears. Wow, look at the axe too. I wonder if they were put to use. They built this place to avoid it. The carrier draws attention. Valuable, tiny creatures. Look, wax tablets. They're carved. He drew her. And there, he drew himself with her. 
He loved her. It looks like they spent a lot of time together. Just like us. This is so strange. It is. Let's keep on. Toys. He was coming here to play with her. And she let him. She was the best kind of knight. I would have loved to meet them. This is crazy. I feel like... like I know them. Like Basil could have been my friend. I know what you mean. Oh, look! Huh, that bird again. Its shape. It's the Order's symbol. The Phoenix is the Order. It's just that. Um, sorry, boy. But no! That explains why it stands above the child on their frescoes. They thought they were better than him. They didn't care about him. It doesn't change why we're here. Come, let's finish this first, right? Hmm. I'll be damned. What's this now? An alchemy laboratory. Can we go back now? But it looks exactly like what you're searching for, no? Yes, but... Oh, you're right. Look for anything that could lead to an elixir. A, a potion, like books, drawings, maybe raw materials. On it. An Athenor. <sighs> no. Whatever's been cooked in there is long gone. This place is crazy. This is all useless. Please, I need something. Empty. No! What the hell? Hey, quieter. We'll find something. Uh, sorry. Lucas would know. What were they making in these? They thought, give me something, please. This is all centuries old. What do you expect? Um, I think the little one needs you, Amicia. Yes. That. Oh, I don't even know what it's used for. Come on, give me something. There's nothing much. Oh. A phoenix. Look for a phoenix. Hey. Something's wrong? I'm sure they hurt him, too. Hey. I know things aren't turning out the way you expected, but... Uh, nothing ever changes, Amicia. But Aegir wouldn't let them hurt him, right? You... You let Vodan... No! I... I tried to stop it, but... I, I know. You tried. Sorry. Hey, come here, you two. Sophia? Where are you? Upstairs. How did you get there? Look behind the curtains. Come on, Hugo. What is this? No door. Some sort of uh, observation hallway? <gasps> what have you found? Your alchemist library. Looks like they were observing the child from here. Like he was in a cage. We're right above the laboratory table. It's wrong. Imagine these bastards standing there, looking at him. We have to focus on what they learned. I may have a lead. Any mention of a kill? No, but they took other notes. What are those? Scrolls. Probably about Basilius. They're in Latin. <sighs> I can't read it. I can. Come look, I think I've got something. What is it? 
Your alchemists wrote down everything that happened to the carrier. It's sorted by date. The last entry was in the year 541. 541? What does it say? I haven't studied Latin since the convent, but it talks about Basilius. And, uh, um, Aelia Dragus, his protector. It really did all happen. They were just like us. What happened to them? The Order took away the carrier from her. She rebelled and was arrested close to a round tower. They took her to a, a, a capella, a, a chapel, inside a fort. And Basilius, where is he? It doesn't say. Well, we have something to go on. A fort, a round tower. They're coming. We're lucky they didn't come sooner. Yes, let's get out of here fast. Seal our determination. To stand by your side, day and night. I feel your sickness. I share your pain. We will protect you. We will care for you. I am the father. I am waiting for you. I am the mother. I am waiting for you. Join us. Whenever you feel ready, we are. How can they stand in that water? They look so eager to have this child. It's not this so wrong. Just like me. They still don't know they're wrong yet. They'll be sad. Hugo, these things you dreamt of, they existed. You just couldn't know what they really meant. It meant things would be easy and nice. It doesn't mean things won't get better. Are you sure? Your dream showed us another truth. But it is a truth. We can still use it to change everything. Maybe. of stench forever. That was enough for me. Let's go to that fort. Hugo? There was no fort in my dream. Maybe, but your dream put us on the right track. Look at all we've learned. Now we just have to find out the rest. Don't you want to know what happened to that Aelia? And your ancestor? to be all right. Um, can we take these stinky clothes off now? Yes, we should. <laughs> 